we are going to be looking at Paragon's tool called Colab Center. This is a great feature that allows you to create safe searches for a specific buyer and schedule emails based on the needs of that client. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how we can kick off the Colab Center process. Let's go ahead and click on the search icon and we're going to be doing a search under the residential. All right, oh, click on that again. There we go. This is um, a few things I want before we uh, get out of the gates, a few things I need you to pay attention to so you don't get any errors when you're saving these searches for your clients. Uh, now, the three things we need to pay attention to are status, the LVTs, listing visibility type, and the amount of results that we're getting in our search. So let's just go ahead and start with listing visibility type right here. If I go to the right and click on the eyeglass in that field, you're going to see all uh, the fields you can choose from. Now, I probably have more uh, selections than you do as being an, uh, an admin of the MLS, but let me show you the three that you can use. Okay, so it's going to be MLS listing, Coming soon, no days on market, and construction, no days on market. Uh, if you want to see a little bit more uh, of those fields, we can just slide that over there. That's a little bit easier. Now, everything's highlighted in green. Those are the three listing visibility types that you may use and create a safe search without any errors. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit save. So, the next one is, I mentioned, with status. Let's go to the status field and click on that eyeglass, and we're going to see the status tree. Now, the only two statuses that are allowed when saving a search are going to be active and coming soon, both under the active uh, tree right there. So, everything else, you will not be able to uh, save a search. You will get an error if you're trying to send these out to clients. But let's go ahead and save that so that you get to um, see how it looks without getting an error. Now, the third thing I mentioned is the results. Right now, we're at 6,742 results. Paragon will not allow you to save a search for uh, notifications out to clients if it's uh, more than 500. So at this point, what we're going to be doing is entering additional criteria for this particular buyer and getting that number uh, at 500 or below. Okay, so let's go ahead and start um, entering in the criteria. Um, maybe the first thing I want to start is in saying I want to go in Huntsville. Okay, let's click Huntsville. You'll see now I'm very, very close. I'm at 501. So just by adding a few more features uh, or fields, I'm going to get below that number without any errors when I try and save it. So, what are some things that we want to look at uh, for this particular client? Um, the type. Let's go ahead and say uh, single family detached. Okay, let's hit save. We're at 468 now. Uh, let's do a price range. Uh, let's go there 499 to 550,000. Okay, there's 35 homes. Now, I can start typing in more and more fields, but just to save time, um, and we've got a, a good number of 35. Let's go ahead and save this search. But again, if you need to add additional criteria based on this client's needs, go ahead and enter that in. And then what we're going to do is go to Save Search. And what we want to click on is Save Search As. You can create as many save searches as you want if you use Save Search As. Let's go ahead and do that. When this pops up, you're going to see that there's a default tab for yourself. But as we're discussing, we are going to save this for a particular uh, buyer contact. So let's click on the contact uh, tab and let's name the search. Um, you're going to see that residential default is what always pops in. But let's go ahead and add this to, uh, let's go ahead and customize the search. So let's go Jay's Huntsville uh, and let's go 500K. All right. And I'll show you how you can pull up safe searches in just a moment. Now, let's go ahead and create a new contact. All right. Or if this is an existing contact, I can click to the right and see now Jay Jennings does exist. Okay. Um, so I'm going ahead. I'll, I'll click on that. But let's just show you. Uh, I'm going to unclick it for right now and hit cancel. If you wanted to create a new contact, this is where you would do that. Let's go hit new contact. 
you'll see the red required fields, first name, last name. And let's not forget to put in their email because there's no way, obviously, that's going to go out to them if we don't fill in that field. Okay, but let's go ahead. We're just going to use the uh, J Jennings right here and we'll hit save. Okay, now to kick off the Colab Center feature, um, I want to go to save and notify. All right, so if I click on save and notify, you're going to see that uh, I'm in the Colab Center dashboard now. Uh, the name, Jay's Huntsville, uh, 500K showed up. Uh, automatic notifications, you're going to see the Colab Centers right there. So that's what we're looking to, to, to work on. When we click on the options feature to the right of that, this is how we're going to set up how the emails get sent out. So I click on that. And what we're going to work on is let's just start from the top and work our way down. The very top one I want you to look at is message body. Okay, let's click on that. And I, I have already a template built in uh, called buyer's template. And so basically I'm just going to enter in the, the name here. And everything else is going to be filled in. So just asking them to, to, to review this email. Um, this message is going to go out for this client and this search. Okay. So once I get done typing in that message, uh, I'm asking them to take a look at, at the listings that we just sent them. Uh, let's go ahead and hit OK. And we'll, again, we're going to move on down from top to bottom. Uh, notification date range. This defaults to one year starting the day you create it. So today is January 6th, and it'll go out to January 6th, 2024, one year from today. Now, you can certainly click on these buttons and customize on when you want to uh, turn these uh, – Turn off this notification date range uh, along, as long as it's not past one year. So you can certainly change it for, for three or four months, whatever you feel is necessary. Here's a really important feature. Uh, next is notification trigger. Now, I have set up right now price change, new match, new comment, and status change. So let's go ahead and click on the eyeglass here, and you can see all the different options you have. So there's the highlighted ones in green. So price change, any time that a listing that fits that search criteria has a price change, it'll trigger an email to the client. Anytime a new listing hits the MLS based on the criteria we've created, there's a new match that generates an email to the client. Uh, new comment is a tool we'll be seeing uh, in, in a later training segment where when a buyer receives emails on on listings, they have the ability to click on that listing and make comments on it. So if they type in something that says, Jay, this is a great listing, please set up a showing for me this Saturday, that would generate another email to me, right? Not the listing agent, but to me as their buyer's agent. Status change um, is an important one if you want them to see, uh, if they're looking in a particular community, let's say, and they're kind of on the fence, and they see, they get an, uh, an email that says, here's all the active listings, but it also is going to show the ones that went to pending. So that's really kind of a good idea. If somebody's really you know, not you know, taking their time about finding houses, you can, they can see that, oh, my goodness, you know, some of these homes in this particular neighborhood may only have uh, be on the market for a matter of, you know, two weeks or something. So that may be important for you to see. But if you don't want status change, unclick it. Okay. Hit save. And you can see that it's uh, updated here. Now, client notifications. This is important as well because this determines when the emails for the triggers that you've determined will generate emails to the client. Right now, it's immediately. That's the default. So if any one of these three triggers are met for the, for the save search criteria and this client, an email will generate immediately to them. Now, if it's somebody says, you know, I'm not ready to buy for another six months, immediately may not be the right tool. Um, so recurring, we'll click on that, and you'll see that modify time frame just popped up. Yeah, I would click on that. And this may be a good idea to say, you know what, maybe weekly or monthly, but maybe a weekly update. So they, you're, you're always fresh in the back of their mind and saying, you know, hey, uh, Jay's helping me find the right house, and every week I'm getting a market update. And it gives them a good deed on the market as well. But you can set that up. You can set... Um, on weekdays, uh, however you want to set that up, um, every two days, you can determine what time this goes out. 
Okay, so we'll hit OK. But let's just, um, I'm going to leave this one on immediately. Same thing for agent notifications. How often do you want to get email notifications for your clients? Now, obviously, if it's somebody who says, you know, they have a particular search, it's a really hard property to find, and when they hit the market, you want to know about it, obviously, as well as they do. So immediately may be the right choice in this case. Otherwise, you can say, I don't want to look at it uh, until each Monday morning when I come into work, whatever it may be, that's your choice. But you'll see that the client's email did populate, and you can get blind copied on that as the agent. If you don't want to see that one, you can just hit the BCC me option in the bottom right, and it will just go out to the client. Now, the very last feature at the bottom is called subject. This is the default that goes out for all saved searches, activity notification for your collaboration center site. Now, if you have multiple searches uh, or you have a new contact, they're not really, they may not know what that means. So I would highlight that and put um, Jay's market update for Huntsville homes and maybe put 500K. There we go, 500K. There we go. So now in their inbox, they're going to know immediately that that new email is coming from you as their agent, and they, they can click on those uh, that email. So we're done. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now, there is one last uh, tool that we need to do, uh, or uh, uh, feature we need to uh, take care of. So actually, we, uh, we're we good to go there. Um, great. OK, now we're actually good. What I want to show you now is I'm going to click, I'm going to shut this down. All right, and I'm going to go back into, let's say I'm, I'm, I, I log back in my computer the next day, and I want to see what, who I have set up in the Colab Center. So I'm going to go into the Contacts, View Manage Contacts, and you're going to see very quickly all your contacts are going to be named, but by looking at the blue View button, that means that this client has now been set up in the Colab Center. So that is how you set up a save search, uh, go to the Colab Center dashboard, and you will be able to uh, see that your clients are, are, are getting emails. A couple things I'll point out real quick. If you click on the client's name, all right, you're going to see that you can, on the left-hand side, you can look at their contact information. You can certainly update anything that you want in there to get uh, uh, their information there. You may also want to look at the source. Um, where did this contact come from? So you're paying attention to your marketing dollars. Was it a referral? Did it come from the newspaper? Whatever it may be, right? Um, look at this now on the left-hand side again. Buyer activity. This is all their safe searches will, will show up there, all right? Just Jace Huntsville, 500K. Now, if you wanted to add another search for this client, you can hit add search right here. Um, uh, you can add a new search or look at this. If I have an existing saved search, I can just click on that. And if I had one set up for, um, oh, there was, I'll just call, Har there was Homes and Harvest, I, uh, Alabama I created. Let's just say for whatever reason, that's what we want to add that to their client. We can go ahead and hit save. That now is part of the client's um, collab center. And we can go ahead and, again, set up the options on that one and how we want that to go out. Let's just say I only want to send new mat, new listings on this particular search for Harvest Homes. And that goes out immediately to both me and them. Hit OK. And we have a new safe search. OK, so let's go back and click on Contacts. All right, we can get back to the dashboard and see, that, again, by clicking on this plus sign to the left of the client, there's all of the safe searches we have for that particular client. Why this is important to note is that you don't want to create um, multiple. If you have multiple searches for a client, you don't want to create um, multiple contacts. So if you had three searches for Jay Jennings, you wouldn't want to create three contacts. Um, once Paragon sees uh, the same email for multiple contacts, it shuts them all down. So let's just keep adding you know, searches like we just showed you uh, under the same contact and everything will work out just fine. Um, I'm gonna go back to this contacts uh, here. 
or actually, I'm sorry, let's click on uh, Jay Jennings. Uh, one last thing I'm going to show you here at the bottom is message history. So you can show all the different um, emails that went out. So if you ever they, your client calls you and says, hey, Jay, the email you sent to me last Tuesday, you can click on that and see all the properties that sent out and, and, and talk to them about the properties that, were, uh, that they were reviewing. So that is uh, CoLab Center. If you have any questions about setting up the CoLab Center, you can reach out to the, your MLS support team, um, you, uh, emailing MLS support at valleymls.com or contact Paragon support at 877-MLS-HELP. Thanks very much. I hope this was helpful.